Hi, I'm James Crocker, founder and president of Water Blasting Technologies, manufacturer of the Stripe Hog Stripe and Rubber Removal Systems. In today's blog post, we're talking about productivity. How fast can a water blaster remove a given material from a given surface? To understand this, we may first reflect on the kinds of horsepower it takes to do any kinds of other tasks. For instance, it's generally assumed that you can remove more grass, or if you're cutting the grass, you can cut more grass with a 10 horsepower mower than you can a 5 horsepower mower. And that you could fight a fire more effectively with a 100 gallon per minute fire truck than you could a 20 gallon per minute fire truck. More water, less fire. In our case, we're using horsepower to pro provide PSI and GPM, or bar and liters per minute, if you're one of our European friends. So if we look at a six gallon per minute or 22 liter per minute water blaster, and it has a given capacity of, let's just say, 8,000 square meters per hour removing rubber from a runway. If you wanted to double the productivity that you were seeing, you could simply go back to your shed and as long as you had a second vehicle that was exactly the same, nobody would argue that you would not double your capacity. You would be cleaning 16,000 square meters per hour as those units moved down a runway. You would also be using 175 horsepower here, approximately, and 175 horsepower here, or 350 horsepower collectively. Now, the beautiful thing about the Stripe Hog is our most popular model, the Stripe Hog 8000, simply combines those two machines. We purchase a very high horsepower uh, chassis and we put 12 gallons per minute or 45 liters per minute uh, through two blasting heads uh, on the same machine. Whether you're cutting grass, moving dirt, moving people, and buses or trains or, or airplanes, um, the more horsepower you have pushing the operation, the more effectively or the more you can do uh, with that. Um, we've likened it to, to just another simple illustration. Uh, we've likened this, we've, we've seen manufacturers put much larger uh, blasting heads on the front of a water blasting machine thinking that a bigger blast head is going to remove more material. Well, it's very silly, and if you think about a large bucket, um, let's say on the front of a big piece of earth moving equipment, if you had a, um, or let's say on a bobcat, you know, you had a one yard bucket, and you thought that you could remove more dirt by putting a huge, you know, four yard bucket on the front of a bobcat, uh, obviously, Bobcat wouldn't be able to uh, to move the dirt any faster. In fact, it would be further hampered by the size and weight of the bucket. So anyways, when considering a water blaster, make sure you consider the heart of every water blaster machine is the pump, the pressure, and the GPM, or the amount of water that it produces per minute, is absolutely essential to determining how fast that unit is going to be able to do its intended task. Thank you for joining this week's blog post about productivity.